At Minnesota State Mankato, as with colleges and universities across the country, COVID-19 has impacted the normal way things are done. One of those key impact points is summer orientation for new Mavericks. With all summer 2020 orientation sessions moved online, Jeremy Reisenberg, Assistant Director for Orientation, said coronavirus prompted a new form of campus interaction and awareness for new students. What we did this year um, with everything going on with COVID was um, and not being able to obviously hold the large groups that we do with orientation um, is we decided to move everything online. Between mid-March and June, the Office of New Students and Family Programs scrambled to create a comprehensive multi-module system for online orientation. Most of the programming is accessible through D2L, the university's online system normally used for creating online course websites and the posting of syllabi, assignments, quizzes, and grades. We did we built the entire online orientation in D2L. Um, so that is a first that we've ever done that. It is at your own pace, on your own time. It's open, you know, from now and it'll actually stay open throughout their entire first year of school. Um, I think I think it's a decent product, and I like that the students can go back to it anytime. And now they have some, um, you know, they have some understanding of D2L before classes start, which I think is going to be huge, especially this year when so much of it's going to be online or flex. They're going to probably be in there a lot, and so being able to navigate that before classes even start, I hope, is a help to them too. Since early June, new students and families have accessed the D2L modules. Students can go through the information at their own pace. But any new student who logs in, all they're really going to see is this one. So it's Maverick Online Orientation and Registration 2020-2021. Once they click on it, it um, basically tells them how to get started. There's a welcome video that plays here. There's all our kind of social media handles where the OPAs are, you know, they're doing stuff on TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff throughout the summer, trying to keep the students engaged. So when they want to get started, all they do is click here on Get Started. And this brings them into the online orientation. So you'll kind of see they have the modules here. This one opened June 1st and then June 8th and so on and so forth. So that's what these modules kind of look like. And then so for June 1, um, this was our branding we used all summer. So you might see this a lot. Um, just kind of what we decided to kind of tie it all in together for have some sort of logo, if you will. Um, but uh, yeah, our first module is a lot about, you know, how to start, what, what orientation is going to look like. Um, so, you know, Map Productions did some nice videos um, around campus. And then each one kind of talks about tips to get started. And then there's always action steps at the end. So this is where we all say, you know, this one, watch the welcome video, get started in module A. So, and, and like anything in D2L, students will get a checkbox once they've completed it. So they'll kind of know where they're at in the process. Um, and then they can just kind of move on to the next one. So all the modules are here. They can go through them all. Um, so here's our last one that we did, the module F. So you can see there's information from Campus Rec in there. We had, um, I did the CSU, so I had the heart of campus, the CSU. Um, <clears throat> Um, students can navigate it by going back to this every time and clicking on the topic. Um, otherwise, if they just want to um, say they want to learn about health services, they can see the information, scroll through. Oh, health services did a crossword puzzle, which was kind of fun. So students could down, do this full version crossword puzzle and email to them. And if they did health services, was going to give them a free t-shirt. And now we're just doing a wrap up module. Um, as well as kind of talk about some of their next steps. So they have to go through the sexual violence and awareness training. They have to go through an alcohol wise and um, the social belonging. So we have a few modules that we're going to have them do in their final one. Reisenberg said his student staff of OPAs, orientation peer assistants, have been engaging with new students. Interactions include informational Zoom sessions, a call in line staffed by OPA 12 hours a day, and personal one to one conversations. Um, so, so the OPAs have been having dialogue with students throughout the summer, even just on more of that personal level between, you know, a student and OPA, you know, answering questions for them. Uh, OPAs also are filling mailers with university items, including the traditional orientation purple t-shirt given by the Centennial Student Union. But they are stuffing envelopes with t-shirts, um, lanyards, uh, we have flags that we've kind of, so we just, a swag envelope that we're going to be sending out. Um, probably at the end of this month or in August, kind of welcoming them to the campus and giving them a few things um, so that they can wear when they move in. Starting Thursday, July 9th, students and families will be able to virtually drop in and visit with various university departments during seven hour-long Zoom sessions. 
By visiting the Virtual Resource Fair section of the orientation webpage, new students can enter Zoom rooms to learn more about the university. Sessions through July 30th will be Tuesdays from 5 to 6 p.m. and Thursdays from 6 to 7 p.m.